Hi, I'm Jason Kiley, and my course is Introduction to Python for Research. Python is one of the most popular general purpose programming languages in the world, in part because it's easy to use, free, and open source. For us as researchers, it has a best-in-class set of tools to gather, examine, and assemble data sets. In this course, we'll start with an introduction with no prior knowledge assumed and cover the core topics that get us to a well-documented, ready-to-analyze data set. For conventional data sets, we can assemble them faster with more flexibility and reproducibility. To integrate interesting unconventional data, we have all of Python's third-party tools to work with, uh, things like web pages, application programming interfaces like Twitter, uh, text, databases, manual coded data, and more. We can also scale up from regular data to big data, even on supercomputing clusters with the same tools, which is a particular strength of Python. We'll cover three main topics in the course. The first is an introduction, so we get everyone, including complete Python beginners, up to speed with Python generally and its great ecosystem of data tools. Next, we'll work through collecting and examining data from conventional databases and several unconventional sources that I mentioned before. This includes coverage of visualizations, including many sophisticated plots that we can run with just one line of code. Uh, finally, we'll bring all of our data together into a data set that's ready for analysis. Because all of our work is in running code, we can make changes like adding variables, changing calculations, or adding new data by making small modifications and just rerunning our code. Like many Karma courses, this one is largely hands-on. In each segment, I generally cover an overview with slides, and then we work through detailed code examples with thorough documentation and links to more information. These help us stay on track while also providing a great reference to use in the future. Then in breakout rooms, we'll do brief exercises that make sure you grasp the concepts, and we'll wrap up segments with solutions to exercises, questions, and a brief conclusion. Uh, in designing the course, I made a number of choices. First, I focused on things with the highest return on investment uh, for researchers. Uh, these can be things you really need to know, or avoiding uh, certain pitfalls that you might run into, or productivity enhancements. Second, I connected topics so that you're prepared to manage a whole data project. Because Python has so many really great tools where others have done a lot of hard work for us, a lot of the work we actually have to do is linking those things up to make a completed data set. Finally, in both the documentation and some self-study materials, I try to give you a sense of where the topics we learn fit into the broader ecosystem and where to start if you want to learn more. So a little bit about me. I'm an assistant professor and Spears Fellow at Oklahoma State. I've been using Python in my research since 2012, and it's helped me tackle really big data collections, including hundreds of thousands of press releases and conference calls, and millions of news articles and tweets. It's also helped me integrate those collections with archival data sets for papers, including recent ones uh, in AMJ and SMJ. I also make some small contributions to open source projects. I do a little bit of recreational Python programming too. Uh, when my wife and I needed to narrow down our baby name choices, uh, I wrote a Python program one Saturday morning to, uh, to help us out. This course and my other workshops and seminars are my way of sharing the best of what I've learned over the last several years. So I think that wraps it up. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to email me. I'd be happy to answer questions for you. And uh, I hope to see you in June. Thanks.